Boy, if I have a powerful word for you this week, it's found in 1 John 3, verse 20. If our hearts condemn us, then God is greater than our heart, and He knows all things. God knew that after you got born again, after you gave your life to the Lord, He's not surprised by any of our shortcomings, any of our uh, sin thoughts, our word sins, any of the things that we do. He's not shocked by it. He knew when He came inside of you that He was in a restoration plan of a lifetime. And He provided a way for us that we could go to Him on a regular basis every day and get cleansed and get free of any of the wrong that we commit on any level. But so often, even after we say, I'm sorry, even after we bring our wrongs to the, to the light, there seems to be this torment, this guilt, this, I didn't do enough. And your heart condemns you. That's why John wrote this. He said, if our heart continues to condemn us after we said, Lord, I'm sorry, after we say, Lord, I want to change, after we said, God, help me be better and be stronger, he said, if your heart still continues to condemn you, you just get a hold of this knowledge that God is greater than your heart. That means God's greater than what you're feeling. And He knows everything. He knows you already feel bad about it. He knows you already said you're sorry. He already knows you brought it to Him. He already knows you've done everything you know how to do. And what He's saying is, just know that I'm greater than what you're feeling. Isn't that a great word? After you've gone to Him, after you said, I'm sorry, if something still continues to torment you, just look up and say, God, I'm thankful today that you know everything and you're greater than what I'm feeling. That's your word for the week.